Hi everyone. I just wanted to pop in and um, just have a little chat about um, using a professional photographer. And I wanted to do that now because um, we have lots of grants out at the moment or starting to come out to help small businesses um, get back on board. And that's something that I'm really passionate about. I'm actually a um, sole trader and I've had my photography business for 16 years. Uh, in the last two years, I've actually been really fortunate enough to work um, pretty much full time as an artist. Um, and I've been predominantly working in the Gladstone Hospital and also over at Billa Wheeler as well. So um, both of those things, because we're seeing the funding finally starting to come out um, for artists as well. Um, so I just wanted to take this opportunity to get people to think about using a professional photographer. So with our presence being pretty much online now, um, you know, trying to, to draw business in, whether it's for an artist um, and, you know, looking at gallery work or even your portfolio or your presence on a website um, or whether you're posting to, um, to show off your new products or services. I think that's really important um, step for a professional photographer. And even if it's just at the start um, of you trying to relaunch your business, um, just to have those images that draw people in. So the, the difference, um, you know, when people think of professional photographers, they think of, you know, really expensive um, cameras and lenses and lighting equipment, which they are. But um, even if, um, other people have these types of cameras and equipment. It's really the skill that you need and experience to be able to create those images that really do tell a story. So um, I'll just sh show you a couple of images at the end of this to show you what I'm talking about. But, um, you know, often those skills that um, and that are um, developed over the years is to, you know, like what people wear tells a story, um, you know, and even, you know, fitting into colour and in um, how much it, it fits um, with the scene that you're going to shoot um, through to um, posing. So your body language, you know, what are you trying to say in the image? Is it the right um, posing for what you're doing? Um, even in the background, so the background and the foreground can tell a huge amount in a story. So often you've got one image to tell your story when you're trying to advertise, especially in portraits. Um, so anyone doing um, online webinars um, or, you know, online teaching, anything like that, um, right through to how you're actually setting up for those. I, I know a lot of people are in businesses and they've got their webcams up, but there are ways in which you can create an interesting shot as well. So what's happening in the background here is really busy at the moment. And that's telling a story because, um, you know, I'm, I'm swapping over from um, trying to level out my business as well. So still trying to do um, artwork, but bring back some photography because for me, I feel that's really important at the moment to help other um, businesses like mine get started. So um, just want to reiterate when you are applying for funding, um, you know, don't be afraid to give a photographer a call. Um, my details are down below if you want to have a chat. And, you know, this quick turnaround time, you even if you're trying to get ready for the next round of funding that's coming out, you know, ask them to put a package together. I have a package um, that's of different excuse me, different sizes. So if you're an artist, it's a great way to get a couple of um, headshots and then some shots of your work as well. Um, and that's always great um, to, to have for your website or even just your profile pic as well. Um, and then, you know, through to other larger size um, businesses that may need a portfolio. So we look at the different um, products and services that you have as well. Um, I've often worked with website de designers and I find that so much easier 
um, for businesses, it can be really daunting trying to get your website together. So I actually often find that three of us working together is really good that you end up getting your website and the images um, that, are, you know, that relate to your business as well. They can use stock images, but, you know, I think now it's all about trying to re relate. We're trying to um, also um, use local businesses as well. So if they can, you know, put that face, um, your face to your business, you know, people want to support local people. So um, I also want to support local people as well. So please don't be afraid to, to give me a call and have a quick chat. If you're um, applying for funding, let me know and we can get a quote in um, really quick for you to, to put into that funding as well. So looking forward to um, hearing from you and looking forward to helping the community.